guys, how's it going? Shez back again and welcome to the penultimate episode of FIFA 15 Demoing. Today we're having a look at Manchester City, as you can see, starting in a 4-2-3-1 formation rather than the default 4-4-2 that it gives you. Uh, put David Silva behind Avid, Agu Avid Aguero, Sergio Aguero. <laughs> David Silva behind Sergio Aguero, Nasri on the left, Navas on the right, Yaya and Fernando, uh, Fernandinho rather, not Fernando, holding. Fernando is on the bench. Color of Nastasic, Company and Zabaleta in the defence with Joe Hart in goal. Uh, not really too sort of how City will play. I haven't yet, believe it or not, played with City on the demo. I've uh, I've played with everybody else apart from City so far. Actually, no, that's a lie. I genuinely haven't played with uh, Boca Juniors either, who is the last team that we uh, are yet to have a look at on, in this series, which uh, will, of course, come to you tomorrow night. But uh, if you missed any of the previous episodes in this particular little mini-series, then feel free to check the, uh, the channel page and it will be uh, all listed there for you equally. Uh, you can check the uh, the channel page for anything else you may have missed, whether it be the uh, the My Player series, which is still going. We've got, of course, the season best bits highlight reels going uh, at the minute. We've just done uh, season two last night, so if you missed that, then check it out. I'll try and get this ball to Fernandinho if I can, although Maxwell's going to have this covered. So, uh, yeah, feel free to check that out if you missed it. There is, of course... Um, uh, what am I trying to say? Another my player tomorrow as well. Uh, can Navis get inside? No. Hook's cleared by the defender, but Nasri should win this header, please. No. Uh, but yeah, there should be another my player tomorrow. Season 3 best bits will come tomorrow, and then we'll have a look at Boca Juniors in the evening. And the, as far as I'm aware, EA Access, early access is out now for FIFA 15, although I'm not entirely too sure. Uh, as I record this, it's there's been no official tweet from EA as per usual, and uh, it's all a mess. Everybody on Twitter is speculating one thing or the other. Some people can download it, some people can't. Some people say the uh, gives you the ability to download, but then doesn't actually download when you try and do it. It's just a complete mess, which is pretty much stereotypical EA. And uh, as I record this as well, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday and the web app is still not out even though they uh, they advertised it as being out yesterday so really really a, just a farce of a company at the minute EA Sports trying to get V15 sorted nothing is going the way that they uh, they either planned or told us so uh, what is actually going to happen between now and the weekend I've no idea but hopefully between now and the weekend we can get a good result here with City against PSG I haven't really been able to create anything too spectacular so far. Of course, Ibra does have five-star skills, but whether the computer... Will... Oh, Cavani's done well to keep that ball. It's a good shot well saved by Joe Hart. Can I keep this in? No, PSC are going to get a corner. Ibra's got five-star skills on the demo, but in the full game, he does only have four-star, unfortunately, although I'm sure you're all plenty aware of that by now. Let's see what Thiago Motta can whip in corner-wise. Can we get rid of that, please? Try and close it down with Kolarov. City are probably going to be one of the strongest teams on FIFA 15 on the full game, you would have thought, especially considering the uh, the transfers that they've brought in that aren't included on the demo players, or it's more more specifically uh, Eloquin Mangala, more so than anyone else. Of course, Fernando is on the demo. Uh, Mangala isn't, as far as I'm aware. I couldn't see him in the list, at least, when I skimmed through it. But he is a very, very good centre-back and, of course, will fill in for Martin Di Michaelis very well indeed. Although, oh God, don't let Cavani head that from there. Uh, Di Michaelis is an extremely good player. Uh, he's He took his time to settle in the... Oh, God, good save, Joe Hart, I think. Took his time to settle in the Barclays Premier League, Martin Di Michaelis, but has had a particularly solid past six months or so at the end of last season and the start of this. So uh, perhaps he's not as bad as everybody was making out. He seems to have been better since he shaved off that ponytail. So maybe uh, he's the opposite of Samson and all of his powers are uh, given to him with the lack of a ponytail and he lost them when he had the ponytail. I don't know, I'm just rambling now, making up silly excuses for the fact that Di Michaelis was pretty shit for the opening uh, eight months of his Man City career. But anyway... Vanderville down the right hand side does well to hold off the attentions of Kolarov and Cavani's done really well to keep that in and get the ball back here's Johan Kabai don't want to let him get the ball across to uh, Ibrahimovic so we'll put a tackle in we could have the chance of a breakaway here no because the man that was there starting to make the run stopped but Fernandinho's going to get it can I hold off the man here play in Aguero play the ball through the gap to David Silva on his left foot terrible shot First time shot should have been a lot better than that. It was terrible. I've just pulled it horribly. Shooting seems to be a little bit more... Uh, I don't know. It's, it's kind of manual-ish. Uh, you have to be more specific or more accurate with the direction that you're holding to take the shot. And depending on 
how and when you're taking it. If you uh, just take a quick first time shot like that when the player perhaps isn't settled and uh, isn't you know fully ready to take a shot then he will more than likely put it wide which is frustrating but at the same time realistic. David Silva would try finesse this time and he's again put it wide. That one he was more settled for, was more accurate but couldn't quite get enough whip on it to get it into that bottom corner. David Luiz, the pressure on him just enough. It looks like we're going in at half time at 0-0. That's a great tackle from Yaya Torre. He's probably going to be an absolute monster on FIFA yet again this year. Aguero's through here as well. Set myself, have the shot. What has the goalkeeper done there? That was horrific. I'll just do a celebration with Aguero so we can see the replay. That was terrible. He just stood there and it he almost kind of stumbled and just held his arms out. I want to see a replay that. It should be a good angle for it as well, actually. He hit it straight at him. What's that? What even is that? Goalkeepers on the demo? Not very good. That was horrific. Absolutely terrible. I just don't understand. I don't understand how they can be that bad. Hopefully that sort of thing is fixed for the full game. Uh, we'll have to wait and see though. But what I was about to say before Sergio Aguero got cleaned through was Yaya Torre looks like he's going to be an absolute tank. He has 90 physical on his uh, ultimate team card. And uh, judging by how the demo plays, he is, it seems to be, uh, you know, more strength orientated than anything else. As opposed, well, not in the, the case of pace, but it's pace and strength more so than anything else this year. So it seems, at least, from the demo. So uh, we'll have to wait and see. But Yaya Torre seems to be perfectly uh, attributed for FIFA 15. He was brutal in FIFA 14. One of the best central midfielders in uh, in the game and to be fair one of the best central midfielders in the world anyway but oh, I don't know why I tried to pass that but he looks like he's going to be as good if not even better this year we'll have to wait and see when the full game comes out but I am looking forward to playing with him on ultimate team if I can get my hands on him uh, I'll be doing uh, quite a large pack opening at some point in the opening couple of weeks on uh, oh, shoot we have us here oh good save uh, I will be doing a big pack opening in the opening a couple of weeks or so at some point. Maybe even two or three big pack openings. I'm thinking of spending a, uh, an unpopular amount of money on, uh, on FIFA points. Of course, coin sponsors, etc. are... Uh, I, well, nobody really knows what's going to happen with coin sponsors, but I'm leaving it for now just to see how hard EA are going to go and then maybe we'll pick it up later, but I doubt it. So it looks like FIFA points are the way forward, even though they'll probably be just as expensive and extortionate as they were last year. They are really are so expensive. If you take in, if you think how much uh, FIFA points actually cost, £16 for a 100k pack. One 100k pack is £16, and they offer two at a time. So you could effectively spend, after two or three months of the, uh, the game, for the full release price, £32 on two 100k packs. It's just ludicrous. They are so ridiculously expensive. Right, let's try to get another shot with Aguero, shall we? That is a great shot. Good save. But can I get there with Silva? No. Drops the Yaya Torre. And he's ballooned it over the top. You can see how frustrated he is. He knows that's a good opportunity. And he's just absolutely wasted it. They're bringing on Javier Pastore for Gregory van der Ville. Maybe I'll make a change of my own. Let's put... Um, Oh, who do we put on? Actually, I'll put Jovetic on at Cam. He says he's 83 on the demo. He's actually been dropped to 81 for uh, the full release, unfortunately for him. Although he's been particularly impressive so far this season in pre-season and in the season proper. And of course, Chelsea travel to Manchester City this Sunday. So it's going to be uh, interesting to see if he plays, if he does, how well he's going to do and how well Chelsea are going to do. So first, a big, big test of the season. Of course, Everton was still a test and uh, we not necessarily passed it with flying colours but did score six goals so you can't say it was hard so to speak but it wasn't easy considering we still conceded three we'll try and send Aguero through here should have the pace to get away although the question is does he have a finish on the end of it no is the answer Sugu's technique for these saves looks really suspect really not sure about this it's the first time I've really had an issue with the goalkeepers being quite retarded and it seems to be happening again and again in this particular game whether it's just a one-off I'm not sure but it does make me a little bit suspicious when the full game comes out hopefully like we say it's not going to be a problem just try and keep PSG out here if I can and then maybe build one more opportunity for the end of half 
Uh, can you get there, please? Just ignore it for a little bit, Aguero. Right, let me run, please. Thank you, Navas. Get there. He has done. And then we'll play the ball around the corner to Jovetic, who wasn't offside, as far as I'm aware. Or in my opinion, he was level. Thank you very much. We'll see a replay. I think Jovetic is just as annoyed as I am at that decision. Watch David Luiz. That's level. Maybe. Oh, you can't tell. If it, if it is off, it's very, very close to being uh, the right side of the line. And that is uh, not the obvious of free kicks to take. And the ball's going to go out for a goal kick. Or is that the final whistle? No, that's the final whistle. That's going to bring this one to a close then, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Apologies if this one was a bit all over the place. But uh, that's going to do it for your Friday afternoon. Tonight we'll have another... No, this is your tonight video. Tomorrow we'll have another My Player and uh, the Boca Juniors video in the evening. And uh, then earlier on today there was a uh, uh, 15 career mode potential stars video. So feel free to check that out on the channel page if you missed it. That's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, I'm going to go and play uh, some Destiny, I think. But uh, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you.